When President Reagan was elected, one of the first things that he did was appoint a, a blue ribbon panel of, of business people headed by Peter Grace and is commonly referred to as the Grace Commission. And they, their job was to research uh, all the various areas of the federal government and make a report. One of the quotes from the Grace Commission is, 100% of what is collected is absorbed solely by interest on the federal debt. All individual income tax revenues are gone before one nickel is spent on the services taxpayers expect from government. If we pay the salaries of the congressmen and the senators, we're supporting them, aren't we? Well, yes. Yeah. Well, then why can't we list them as dependents and deduct them? <laughs> We've been brainwashed. People have been told, you know, that you need this income tax system to fund government, which is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, my question is, well, if that's true, how did we fund government from 1776 to 1913? The main purpose of the income tax is not to raise revenue, but to redistribute wealth and to control society. And a lot of people might say, well, gee, if there wasn't an income tax, what would happen to education? They don't understand uh, that education is paid for, for the most part, out of state and local taxes, your property tax. People might say, well, how are we going to build and maintain our highways? If there's no money coming in to the government, we need our highways. There is a tax on every gallon of gasoline that people buy. Proceeds from the income tax do not pay for highway construction. The amount of money that we spend on defense is exactly equal to the amount of corporate income tax, which is quite legal and quite constitutional. I think we should not want the income tax for several reasons. One is that it is the instrument of totalitarianism. It is the means by which the government can manipulate people and put you into a condition of of servitude. Every year you give the federal government a, a form that says here's how all my money worked. If you lie you could go to prison. So you're required to give them a financial statement that under you know the force of law could put you in prison if it's not impeccable, right? And under the law they're supposed to do the same. They're supposed to give you back a financial statement that says here's what we did with your money. Except you comply and they don't. In fiscal uh, 99, the Department of Defense had 1.1 trillion of undocumentable adjustments.